Here's a second question. What will heaven be like? There are two words that come to mind when I think of heaven. Beauty and joy. Yeah, some people, what heaven will be like, and, and the, the best they can come up with is something they saw in an old Hollywood movie somewhere. And, and you know how Hollywood typically de depicts heaven. All they can come up with is white, a white cloudy place with angels running around in white pajamas with heavy harps slung over their shoulders. Usually there's organ music, bad organ music playing in the, in the background. Please. As though the God who made rivers and mountains and oceans, and rainbows, and sunsets can't do any better than that. I don't know about you, but I like to think of earth as God's test plot. This is all a big practice session for God, and, and he's, just, he's just warming up. It's like Michelangelo coming down from the Sistine Chapel and saying, well, that's what I can do with my fingers. Now let's see what I can do with brushes. Call to mind the most beautiful places that you've, you've ever visited in your, your life. Here are some of mine. I've got a string of pictures I want to show you. I, I took these pictures in our, in our travels. Here, is, uh, the, here are the mountains of Colorado inside uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. Just gaze at that for a moment. Look at this next one. It's a place called Emerald Isle in the southern outer banks, watching a sunrise. Look at this next one. Many of you don't know that, but that's the highest peak in the East Coast, Mount Washington, in the fall in New Hampshire. That is holy ground. Uh, and then there's this, Mount Cook in New Zealand. I'll never take a better picture than this. And how about this? Anyone ever been to Sedona in Arizona? All those red rocks? I didn't even have to touch up that photo. Or how about this one? Yosemite. I forget what they call this view now, but there's nothing like it. My friends, uh, whatever, uh, whatever comes to mind when you think of beauty, heaven is going to blow that out of the water. All those things I just showed you are just flat and pale. They're like black and white compared to what's coming to us for us in heaven. Revelation goes on to describe heaven as having, and it's almost become a cliche by now. You can all say it with me. Heaven's going to have streets of gold. Maybe that doesn't move you the way it did the first Christians, but I want you to think about the beauty that those words are trying to convey. I mean, a couple, a uh, few years back in Connecticut, I paved my driveway, sealed it with fresh tar, and I stood back when it was done and beheld the black ooze shining in the sun, and I thought it was magnificent. Well, you can you imagine streets of gold and gates of pearl and a beautiful river flowing through the heavenly city with, with groves of, of trees of all manner of fruit on the sides and the glory of God cascading all around with thousands thousands of shards of brilliant light oh, heaven's going to be beautiful